Hi Squiddies! Welcome to Squid Fear City. Today we're going to be making a Mario themed gingerbread house. For the roof, I'm going to be using some royal icing and then I want it to be red like Mario's house. So I'm going to be using some pull and peel Twizzlers. I haven't had these in years actually, even though they used to be my favorite candy. My roommate in college nicknamed, nicknamed me uh, the Red Dragon when I would eat this because I would get like so hyper and just like almost manic in a way and <laughs> she thought it was really funny and fun. Um, afterwards though I'd feel like sick from eating them <laughs> so I haven't eaten them in a year uh, but I still really like them even though I know they're like really bad for me. <laughs> It's honestly probably the red dye in them that is making me feel sick, but, you know, I figure after five years I can have it once, maybe, <laughs> be okay. I did get, like, really, really hyper, like, for the next few days after eating this. <laughs> so I had to make a new Mario sign above the door because my first one was too big. Because I'm trying to make a smaller gingerbread house because I already let my kids make a gingerbread house and I'm like, that's a lot of cookies and everyone in this house knows I'm the one going to be eating most of it and that's not good. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar. Um, but I'm cutting these Twizzlers in half, like horizontally or lengthwise so that they're even thinner so I can actually fit the letters on there. Um, but letters are super annoying, like in art too. like. The, you, it has to look perfect or it just looks weird, but the payoff is not great because it's like everyone expects it to already look perfect because we live in a printer society where, you know, you can just print something in three seconds and it looks great. And it's like, I'm not a printer. <laughs> but everyone expects it to look that way. This R is too long. I have to fix the bottom part of the R. It's already in the frosting, so it's... Ugh. But yeah, I have to remake the letters. I wanted to make the bottom part of Mario's house. He's like, he has a, like a little deck almost. Um, so right now I'm making the side railings and I like severely overestimated the strength of royal icing because like I made two of them, one for the side and one for the back, but like one of them like completely broke before I even got to use it. <laughs> One of them kind of held up, but uh, I had to kind of go back and reinforce it. Um, so I, I put the deck on, but I started thinking of all these other things I wanted to make for it. I wanted to make stairs, I wanted to make the little side things, so I had to go back and take some pieces off the deck, <laughs> so I had enough. I thought I bought so much chocolate, but I realized I just can't get enough chocolate whether it's for eating or decorating. <laughs> so I wanted to build a little deck, like it's standing on stilts almost. The illusion of standing on stilts. And then I'm building little stairs here. Now Mario and Luigi can walk up the stairs to their little house. So even though I literally made a gingerbread house the day before for my kids so they could decorate it. I forgot one of the most important rules of gingerbread houses <laughs> and that you, it's okay for the roof to hang off the sides and it's supposed to hang off the sides to kind of hold everything together. Um, but you're supposed to put the side walls on the outside, not on the inside of the house. But in this case, I put the front and the back of the house on the outside. So. Like when I tried to put the roof on, I'm like, why is there this gap? I'll just add extra frosting. And it did not work. Everything is just like slipping and sliding and trying to like cave in. And it's like, <laughs> at this point, my son Olin is like, mom, are you having fun? And I'm like, no, I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> Cause I'm just stressing out about it. Um, but then I'm like, okay, I'll just use my spare pieces, so I get my spare pieces, and I'm like, this time I will put it on the outside, like I'm supposed to, so that the roof hangs off on all edges, and there's no gap. So I'm like, trying to be really careful, because I'm like, these are my last spare pieces, I don't have any more spare pieces, I gotta actually make this work this time. <laughs> so I'm just using 
extra frosting and I'm like, okay, if I have to hold it for a few minutes, I need to hold it for a few minutes so it can harden. I can't have the roof collapse again. Kids, kids don't know the struggle. Like, what you just like put together the house for them and they just get to add all the little decorations on top. And you, you actually have to make sure it stands up and everything. <laughs> and I am not good at gingerbread houses, even though they're really fun when the roof is not collapsing. I think it's fun, I guess, after the fact. After you get everything standing, you start adding all the little details, that's when it becomes fun. Luigi, what happened to our house? I don't know, Mario. It has shrunk or something. Look, they left us a nice reef, though. Oh, I guess it is a nice reef. Thanks for joining me, sweeties. I hope you had fun. Bye! You have entered the bonus round.